Whether you've had your iPhone or iPad forever or just getting started, these tips will help you start printing directly from your device. The easiest way is with an AirPrint enabled printer. If you aren't sure if your printer has AirPrint, you'll find out pretty quickly when you attempt to print. If your printer is old, it might be time to buy a new one. There are many great options from HP and Canon that will run you less than $100. One more thing to remember is that the iPhone and iPad don't support wired printing, just wireless. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos. Let's get started. Whether you want to print from your iPhone or iPad, the steps are almost identical. The only difference may be the location of the share button. That's the icon that looks like a square with the up arrow. Locate the document that you want to print. Tap on the share button. For this particular demonstration, I have a PDF that I've already opened inside my files app and the share button is located up here in the right hand corner. Tap on the share icon and then a menu pops up and you'll need to find the print option. Yours may not be located at the top, so scroll until you see it and then tap on print. And once you tap on print, you can either choose to print all of the pages that are within the document or you have some other options available. If nothing is showing up here where it says printer, tap on that to open it. And if you have an AirPrint enabled printer, you'll see it listed here, tap on that, and then you'll be able to use it. If you don't have an AirPrint enabled printer, I'll show you another method later on in the video. I'm gonna tap back on printer options. You can choose to uh, cop, you know, do one copy or more. And then some other options you have are, you know, single-sided color and, and letter. So you can choose all the pages, or if you click on all pages, you can choose a range of pages that you want. You can, uh, if you have a duplex printer, you can toggle on the double-sided. And if you just want to print in black and white, you can choose to do that. Located down here in the bottom, you'll see that all of these pages have a blue check mark at the bottom. If I tap and hold on the check mark, a menu will pop up and I can choose to either stop after page one, so I'll only be printing page one, or I can skip page one and then it would print the rest of the uh, pages. If you scroll further along, you know, you have some options here. Anytime you click and hold, whoops, anytime you click and hold, uh, the menu option pops up. And, and if I'm on page five, it says, well, I can start printing at page five, I can stop after page five, or I can skip page five. So if I say stop after page five, then every page after that should be grayed out. And all the pages before would be printed. So you can go ahead and check that out. And now we'll move on to if you have a printer that is not AirPrint enabled. Even if your printer isn't AirPrint enabled, you may still be able to print with an app from the manufacturer. Here's how the HP Smart iOS app works with HP printers. You can download the app from the App Store. So here's the HP Smart iOS app. I'm gonna to tap to open. And you can browse your iPhone and iPad documents and photos from within the app. So if I tap on print documents, you'll see that I have access to all these different accounts. I have access to my photos. I have access to all my files. So I can print from within this app if my printer is not AirPrint enabled. So if I go into the account down here where it says ES and I tap on that to open it, you'll see that I'm also given access to an email address 
that will send things directly to my HP printer. So even if I'm away from my uh, printer, I'm away from my home, I can send things to this particular uh, email address and if my printer is on, it will automatically print my photos, my documents, whatever it is that I send to the printer. Canon and Lexmark have similar apps for their printer. Since every printer is different, you might need to look up your specific printer model to see what's available. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.